Good afternoon, family. This is your DC dude with another DC. Did you know? So for today's DC Did You Know moment, on this beautiful Saturday afternoon, we're down at the DC Washington Monument. Is that the Washington Monument is actually a memorial for our first president, George Washington. So this structure was designed by a gentleman by the name of Robert Mills. Construction of the monument was a very long road indeed. It would take 40 years from the time they started construction in 1848 till it was officially open on October 9th, 1888. Well, 23 of those years, it, uh, construction was halted due to uh, the intervention of the Civil War and, and, and lack of funds. If you take a close look at the monument, on at about a third of the way up, you can see discoloration in the stones. It was built with 36,000 stone blocks. When it was initially constructed, it was started out with marble. The marble stones were quarried locally in, in a place in Maryland called Cockeysville in Texas, Maryland. At 555 feet tall, the monument is both the tallest stone structure in the world and the tallest obelisk. So what is obelisk, you ask? See, that's what I asked, because I had no idea. <laughs> so an obelisk is, is, is a pillar that is topped with a pyramid structure like we have on the, on the Washington Monument. What's interesting about the, the pillar, the, uh, the, uh, the pyramid that tops the monument is that it's not made out of stone like the rest of the structure. It's actually made out of aluminum. And back then, aluminum was a precious metal. It was as valuable as what, you know, like silver is today. Could you imagine what the prices for a Reynolds wrap would be back then? Or, or how much it would cost to, to get aluminum siding on your house that's as valuable as silver? <laughs> So there are 897 iron steps that lead to the top of the monument that run along the inside wall. Gratefully, there's a high speed elevator as well. In 2011, DC experienced a 5.8 magnitude earthquake. Unbelievable, right? Well, I'm sure that Robert Mills, when he designed it, didn't see that coming either. But actually, the earthquake was, the epicenter of the earthquake was 90 miles southwest of here in a place called Mineral, Virginia. They say that that's the, that was the, the, uh, the strongest earthquake east of the Mississippi since 1944. And it also affected more people than any earthquake ever in the United States as it affected 12 states and uh, I think it was three provinces in Canada. So no wonder we felt it. In fact, it did damage to our cathedral, uh, which was, I think, $20 million in damage to our national Washington National Cathedral. And there was $15 million in damage done to our uh, Washington National Monument. It will close for repairs for a number of years. In fact, in the last eight years, the Washington Monument has been closed for five of them. Not just because of the earthquake, but also due to different operational problems, like particularly the elevators. It finally reopened at the end of last year after many open and postponements, only to have to close again in March. As you can see on this beautiful day, there are many people out even considering what's going on in our country, people are showing up. It's, it's, it's safe distances being practiced. I see a lot of people with masks on, but there's no entrance in the monument. So there you have it, family. Another DC Did You Know moment. I hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, 
there is no telling where we would end up next. So if you want to ride, just click on subscribe.